Hello everyone, this should be very interesting. This is my first YouTube video and today I'm going to just kind of talk about how I go about arranging music. So let's, let's make a new, you wanna press on that and make a new, I'm using Finale. Some of you, I don't know if you have any thoughts about this or not. Let's see, we're gonna create a new ensemble. I'm doing an Easter arrangement for my family. And my brother plays flute. My mom is gonna play the oboe. And my sister plays the harp and I play the violin. And this is gonna be a medley. I th often think that hymns are um, kind of too short. So I, I usually use more than one hymn or do some different things. So it's going to be just as I am near the cross. Should there be a comma there? I don't think there should be. And um, let's see. I like to do subtitles. It helps me with, with my song. Sometimes it, it helps um, with the theme that I write for the song. And so I, I sometimes do the subtitles or I just like having the subtitles because I can... Um, point out different places in the in the song that are sometimes overlooked the different verses so this is from I'm doing near the cross which is hymn number 312 in the Adventist hymnal and the seventh day Adventist Christian and that's the church I go to so our hymnal near the cross is number 312 and hoping trusting ever is from the last verse in that song there are four verses in that song and then just as I am there are actually two hymns there's 314 and 313, and they have different med melodies, and this is kind of like the end of the melody. O Lamb of God, I come. So the, the title of the song is Just As I Am Near the Cross, Hoping, Trusting, Ever, O Lamb of God, I Come. And the composers are William Doan. He was uh, 1832 to... 1915, and then William Bradbury. And I'm actually going to be doing Near the Cross first, I think. So that's going to be interesting. And of course, I'm the arranger, Jordan McGrath. If you haven't already, maybe, you know, like, subscribe to my channel. The lyrics I might sing, I don't know yet. So, Fanny... Crosby did the lyrics. She's a fantastic woman. You should look her up. She was from 1820 to 1915. I believe she was blind. She wrote many of the hymns in, in my church's hymnal. She wrote uh, Near the Cross, the lyrics for that. And then the lyricist for Just As I Am is Charlotte Elliott. And yeah, copyright these. These, are, these songs are both, I believe copyright free so but I will copyright my own arrangements the year's 2021 all rights reserved all right next uh, near the cross is in the key of F major where you have to have a key change somewhere which I actually love key changes so it's fine consecrated Lee is that a word I hope it's a word I think 95 it is a respectable tempo. Maybe let's do 90. I always had trouble with changing the uh, the tempo in Finale after I After I get through this part so it can be very annoying But 120 is definitely too fast and when I've done other arrangements for my youth orchestra uh, 90 is about the the speed that we can go This is yes a major key we'll do 60 measure 90 measures. I don't know how long this is going to be. I mean, I just add measures and there we go So there's what that looks like Let me fix some of the stuff What is this? Let's move that down Move this down so we can see that I think that looks good so We can do let's see. I don't know why it won't let me delete this staff part. I don't like that It's just more clutter and stuff but anyway, 
So just as I am near the cross. Um, as I mentioned, this is for my Easter program. My church is Easter program, and I just think that this is a... Both of these songs are very beautiful, and it kind of gives gives you the feeling you can come to the cross just as you are. So, I hope you like that. Answering my texts. Maybe I should like put my phone on Do Not Disturb while I make YouTube videos. I don't know. This is my first YouTube video that I'm doing, really, um, recording. The podcast style, almost. All right, so I had to him. I don't know how to do the... Um, do a camera on my face. Do you guys want to see my face while I do this or, or not? Leave comments below. And then I can't show the, the hymn book either. I have my hymnal. I have it in front of me. What I usually do is I take a hymn, a chord inventory. So I go through this the hymn and I find the chords that I'm going to use. Or, or I just go through the, um, go through this. Go through the melody. So this is near the cross. I'm just going to play it. So... Whoops. So that's near the cross, and I'm not a very good pianist, okay? Which, this is how I do all my orchestrations, is usually on the piano. Um, and then my sister yells at me for not making something that's good for the harp. I haven't had many complaints about my brother for flute, because it's not that difficult to play what you do on piano, on, on flute, or violin. I don't complain about my stuff on violin. I mean, this is what, just as I am, sounds like and it's actually in the key of d major so we have two sharps i have to remember that this is the melody we're going to use Still forgot the, the F sharp. And I just realized none of these songs are in 4-4 in four, four time. They're actually near the crosses in 6-8 time. So let's go ahead and see if I can fix that. Um, 6. No. This is another problem I don't know really how to do with... Um, there. Maybe 8th note. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Problem solved. So, and then I also try to figure out a theme. I like to use themes in my songs. You know, arrangement, is should, I don't think it should just be the, the hymn and the music. Where's the fun in that? I'm a composer, by the way, or I'm trying to be. So I like to, to make themes or, or things, create them. Sometimes I take things from the, uh, from the hymnal and I turn it into something like I expand upon it. Uh, you can see that in In the Bleak Midwinter. If I remember, I'll put a card on the screen so you can watch that. There is a theme from from part of part of the song. There are actually several themes I took out of it and made it into something, a, lar a much larger idea. And so this helps me as I hopefully become a better composer. The arrangement helps me to think about different things like the chords, the the tone, the color of the music, and also it helps me by not having to figure out everything by myself. Like something I have a lot of trouble with, especially with one of the songs I'm trying to write for a musical, which I will be announcing on my YouTube channel shortly, is the rhythm. I am absolutely terrible at the rhythm, which if you couldn't tell 
from me playing the near the cross and just as I am. I'm absolutely terrible with the rhythm. So I have to fix that somehow and figure out the rhythm, especially the song that I'm working on with that musical project. It's a very fast paced and fast moving song. So it's, you know, fast and hard to hard to get the beats right. And I just spend hours and hours trying to fix it. And <laughs> it doesn't sound how it would want it to sound in my head. So uh, that's something I'm struggling with. But anyway, let's let's talk more about this, this piece. I just realized, so I, I watch a lot of Matt Lown videos. If you don't know who Matt Lown is, he's a, he's a great um, YouTuber in my opinion. He plays Kerbal Space Program, which is another one of my interests. Um, and he just talks when he's playing the game. He plays a lot of games. Let me get the sound to work. That's something I might not have done. Let's see. You know, something else that's very difficult is the sound. I can't get the sound to work. Did I forget to do violin? How did I forget to do violin? Oh, I thought I had a violin. I talked about it. But anyway, he plays games and talks. And actually, I don't really watch him play the game. I just listen to him talk. So I hope that the same goes for you all. I actually know how to add the instrument. Um, but hopefully my voice is just as soothing as his. And I'm very interesting to, to listen to. If not, I really, I really can't help you. Just click off now and save yourself the agony of listening to my voice. Let's see, can we get the... Oh, I know what to do. Um, finale can be really annoying with some things, but I've figured out how to work around some of these hiccups. So like, sometimes the uh, audio won't play. Let's see if it plays now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's kind of low for the flute. Flutes like to be high. So let's let's write that higher. No, this is near the cross. Jesus, keep me near the cross. So sometimes what I do is I write the, the verses down first and then I go back later and I insert uh, a measure stack. How you do that is you, you press on this, you do edit, you do insert measure stack and then you can choose how many and that's how I sometimes do the theme and I think that's that's how I'll how I'll do it now uh, I think I can just time lapse this and uh, make this part of the video faster so that's what I'm going to do now while I go through that so Okay, so I finish the first verse and refrain. At least for the flute part. What I often do is I just go back and I let's see if I can do it. It might be obvious, painfully obvious, that I don't um I don't do speedy and use a speedy entry to tool. Mainly because I don't know how. That might be something I need to, you know, kind of learn how to do, but I don't have time, you know. So I just copy and paste from the line to line, and then later I I um, I do thirds or fifths just to round out the chord, make a nice harmony sound effect. Pretend I know what I'm doing. Actually, I found the harmony by accident one time when I was writing the piece. Actually, I should show that piece sometime. Or I have done a bit. I think I will sometime. Maybe I'll keep that as a bonus for, for all you guys who who stick with it. Uh, let's, let's do utilities, transpose, down, and octave. And do, just do that the whole way. See what that, see what that sounds. Maybe this will, no, we won't. We won't make this another time lapse. I really don't know what to do with, with my, um, like I said, I'm new at this. 
and very unprofessional. If you're expecting the professional, you came to the wrong place, guys. But mainly, uh, what was I going to say? I was talking, trying to do this at the same time, and I, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? <laughs> I can't believe I, I forgot what I was trying to say. Um, is that too low for a violin? It's not. It's kind of low, lower than I'd like, I think. Maybe not. Nah, it's fine. That's what I usually do. Oh yes, I know what I was trying to say earlier. So I know with a lot of professional YouTubers, you know, um, at least the gamer ones who record their screen, um, and then talk over it, is that they record themselves playing a game or something, and then later they go back and they do a voiceover. And I don't know if that's what I should do with my music or not. Especially sometimes there are things I like to show on the piano when we get into the theming and stuff or the chords and stuff. Um, so that's one problem I need to figure out. But let's see if we can listen to this now and that might be the end of this video because it's, uh, it's midnight and I teach Sabbath school tomorrow for the youth and I haven't done the, uh, the, the PowerPoint for the Sabbath school. They might just have to do without the PowerPoint, it's fine. That's extra stuff to get anyway. But anyway, let's listen to this, see how it sounds. If I made any mistakes and have to correct that. Here we go. not bad for some reason it just jumped down there uh, even further than I had wanted so let's put that back up to a better better place because that doesn't need to be that low but it just caught me by surprise why it goes so low so that's measure seven a lot of what this is is just copying pasting listening to it back and fixing things let's see In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. I don't know, that's even fast. Or, fast for me singing. Um, I get many complaints about my singing. Firstly, it's important to know that wasn't me trying my best right there. Uh, but when I sing hymns, people say I sing way too slow, which I can kind of get. They say it's like a funeral march. But, I mean, I think it's nice to sing slowly and enunciate all the words and do vibrato and just pour your heart out into it. And if you're going fast, like, in the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, you can't even get the tone very well. So we're like... In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Now see, wasn't that beautiful? Well, maybe if you put like a professional singer's voice over mine instead of, you know, my mediocre stuff. But anyway, it just gives you time to enunciate the words, to do vibrato, vibrato. Can you make memes or inside jokes for your channel? Is that somewhat, something someone else does? Because I can always say vibrato with a kind of vibrato in my voice. And that could be a nice inside joke for you guys to put in the comments 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 section. I can talk. I can English. Inglesy. Uh but anywho. So that's that's my thing. I wonder how long this video is at this point. We should probably wrap this up. 
Um, but maybe I'll show you just very briefly for your patience and just to show you how much I appreciate you. I'm all of my other things that I do. Let's see. It's going to be under music. It's going to be under Heights Orchestra. It's going to be one of the first things I did. Actually, let's do... That's already on my YouTube channel. Well, too bad. You guys you guys will like this, I, I hope. Nope, this is not the right one. I'm just going to save that. Just to see kind of what this is, what it's going to look like. Um, I think this is it. This should be it. So this is uh, something that I made for my brother and sister. Harp, violin, flute, myself on the violin, naturally. Um, one thing I don't know is if you guys can hear the audio very well. But you guys can watch this and, and see it. I think this turned out really well. You can see the examples of the themes. And this is what I'm kind of going to do. And then also the, the counterpoint. I really enjoy counterpoint or um, what is it called? The, I, the word left me. As you can tell, I'm not a very professional person or a professional YouTuber. I'm a very professional person. Real life, just not, not used to this form of medium or media. But um, there's a certain word for rhythm. You have one rhythm going, you have another one. I love that. The idea is just so fantastic. And I love, you know, um, Lynn manuel Miranda. He wrote Hamilton. I just love how he's able to use a song, one song, and then have another song going into the same song. Like, Nonstop is a great, great example of that. Or, um, Take a Break. You have polyphonic. That's the word, polyphonic rhythms. It's a polyphonic song or polyphonic tune. I don't know if that's the actual name for it, but I know that's kind of the poly, polyphonic is what was explained to me. And it helps because it kind of builds this tension. And you'll see it later on in this, in this the polyphonic, and then it, it ends. I just think that's amazing. And I'm trying to figure out how to do that, especially with, with singing. With instruments, I'm getting pretty good at it. And pretty much all of my songs that I write have some type of polyphonic rhythm or something. You can see it in In the Bleak Midwinter, the most recent one I did. The polyphonic rhythm. All the instruments or groups of instruments have their own theme, and then they all play... Their poly, they all play their theme together towards the end, and it kind of builds this tension, and then they come back to the um, to the main idea. Should we play that instead? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What do you guys want to know? What to do? Let's do. Let's do this. I actually don't know about the audio because I'm I'm doing it through my Yeti microphone thing, which I've had trouble with in the past, and I don't know if it's going to pick up very well on my Mac computer, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I can just go over it and, and do that. Anyway, here it is. So that's the example of a theme. The flute had that in the beginning, and now... I like to showcase the harp, because my sister plays harp, and you don't really see harps that often. I don't know, should I be talking over this? Probably not, because you won't be able to hear it. I'll be quiet until the end. I'm sorry. I just love that theme. I'm sorry, guys.
that Pits and Arcos is something I added later after I wrote it. And then went back and didn't really do it completely well. And then here's a polyphonic part. Coming up right now. And then it comes back and everyone's all happy. So yeah, um, the, the flute has its theme and that's kind of taken from, uh, let's see. Teach me ever to adore thee. But it keeps going, so. It goes. Let's see. Nope. Nope. If I can play it. Anyway, something like that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at this. But anyway, so the flute has that theme, and that's the theme, the driving theme through the piece. And then I like how we'll do an analysis of my of my stuff later. I think that might be a fun video, video series, huh? Would that be fun? I think it would be. Let's, as an extra bonus, we're going to go to. I should really make sure that I can hear this, but I'm too lazy to, to stop the recording and then start it over. And have to splice those two together. Let's go to In the Bleak Midwinter. Where is the main one? Because that's an excellent example of, of my themes and stuff. Is this the main? Nope, this is not. This is this is the flute. Uh, I don't understand why every time you open uh, In the Bleak Midwinter or any music thing you have, it has to like not be saved and you have to go in and save it again I don't get it and then just going through the pages why does it make it so it can't be saved just see where does the polyphonic stuff start this is the whole score right yeah so it's flute two recorders trumpet and B flat um, the triangle or glockenspiel which I affectionately call the glock two guitars at least, harp, uh, four sets of violin, which I think is pretty cool. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, this is, it turned out to be like a five minute piece, and don't worry, you, you don't have to suffer, sit here and suffer through the whole thing. But each instrument has its own piece, or its own theme. I'll, I'll do a better analysis of this later on, and you guys can hear it. Let's see, where is it? Oh yes, there, there it is. The, yeah, I think that's it. So let's start playing at. I think that's it. So where? Oh, there's a nice key change. Love key changes. Should we just start the key change? We'll start at the key change. I need. There is it. There it is. I mean, let's see. So we'll start at measure. This is one eighteen. One seventeen. I think that's a good place to start. 117. I'll point out when the polyphonic rhythm starts. So here we are. Suspense. Continuing to build that suspense, going up and then cue the polyphonic rhythms. Everyone playing their own theme, strings have their own theme, Wood, woodwinds have their own theme, 
harp has its theme, guitarist has a theme. And then come back. Repeat this. And then resolve. So I don't know, it might just be me and my blindness for for the piece, but I think that turned out very nicely. I think the polyphonic stuff sounded pretty nice, but that might just be me. You guys let me know. I mean, I'll have to figure out everything for you. Anyway, I think this video is drag dragged on long enough. So this is part one of Just As I Am Near the Cross and how I arrange, arrange music. Uh, so I hope you join me next time again. Please like. Please subscribe um, and comment. Now, I'm a small enough YouTube channel. I can get back to your comments. And thank you for supporting me as I try to become a better YouTuber and share my, my joy. I just love music. And I love composing and I love arranging. And it's, I think it's a God-given gift to me. And I feel like I've been led by the Holy Spirit in some of the things I write. So I pray for the Holy Spirit to help me as I as I write and make this. And that will be a blessing to people because music has just blessed me so much. Um, I believe it's Plato who says that music gives wings to the mind, imagination to the soul. Something along those lines. I'll look that up and, and give you the right quote uh, some other time. But anyway... Just got the basics down for, for this piece. Next week, I will show you, or next video, it won't be next week. I don't have time to just make this on a weekly basis or series. This has to be done um, pretty soon. But anyway, you will see next time the theme idea I have come up with. And then the other things I have to do to, to, arrange, to arrange music. So thank you again for joining me on this journey. Have a fantastic time and remember music okay we have to come up with a